This is a very brief step-by-step -step guide in which I'm going to show um, how to run linear models in JASP. But I'm going to exclude a lot of types of linear models. For example, a linear model in which there is one outcome variable, which is numerical, in all linear models that we have seen, the outcome variable is numerical. But the uh, predictor variable is a nominal variable with two values. That's equivalent to a t-test. You've seen t-test in previous courses, so I'm not going to show this here. A case in which you've got a nominal predictor variable with three values, that's one way ANOVA. You've seen one way ANOVA in previous courses as well. A case in which you've got a um, Nom two nominal uh, variables um, with two or more values, that's a, a, an ANOVA, so a factorial ANOVA. You've seen that in previous courses as well. So in this case, I'm going to focus only in regression, which is the case in which we have um, one or more numerical predictor variables. And I'm also going to exclude the Bayesian uh, regression because we are going to see that in another step-by-step -step guide. So I've got the data set here. Uh, I've got is a large data set with uh, some uh, nominal variables and um, um, numerical variables. So I can do any type of analysis here. So let's we go to regression. We've got to linear regression classical. I'm not going to do the Bayesian in this guide. Um, and so first I'm going to show you, I'm going to just put the dependent variable, which is the outcome variable. And we are going to see the coefficients. So basically when I only put the outcome variable, that is the mean model. So the model in which we only have the outcome variable or dependent variable in the model. So let's choose um, academic achievement as the dependent variable and we are going to see here in coefficients we've got the unstandardized value of 50.609 which is the mean of academic achievement. We can do the, the prediction by going to the statistics and requesting the confidence interval, 95% confidence interval. So here we've got the, the, the mean model with the beta zero, which is 50.609. And if we do parameter estimation of beta zero, we've got a confidence interval that goes from 49.9 to 51.3. So that's the simplest model. Now we are going to add one predictor variable. So let's say that intelligence is one of the predictor variables. In just the predictor variables are called covariates. So we put intelligence there. And here um, what JASP does is to create two models. One, the model of the null hypothesis, which is equivalent to the mean model. And it has the beta zero only and the estimation of beta zero. Now, we've got a, a second model in which we've got a beta zero, the intercept, and be, this is the beta one. So the st unstandardized coefficient is beta one for intelligence. So beta zero is 16.6 and beta one 0 0.308. And we've got an estimation of those parameters as well. So that 95% confidence interval tells us that the, the intercept or beta zero is between 11.6 and 21.6. And the slope or beta one goes from, the estimation is from 0 0.263 to 0 0.353. And we can add another variable, another a predictor variable as covariate, like study hours, to um, as as a predictor 
variable. And now it just shows us a model with three uh, components, the beta 0, beta 1, and beta 2. So beta 0 is the intercept, beta 1 is the uh, slope for intelligence, and beta 2 the slope for study hours. And again, we've got an estimation of all the parameters with, um, with the confidence intervals.